Well, good morning, everybody. It's Barb Katie, and I just wanted to check in with you on this somewhat rainy, blustery day. Um, another storm is rolling through this area of the country, which is uh, pretty normal for this time of the year, though I must admit the temperatures are quite a bit warmer than they usually are. Uh, it's Monday, my day to check in with friends, and I look forward to this day so very much. And one of the things that I uh, thought I would just touch on as the uh, big holidays are now in full swing throughout uh, our uh, United States and Canadian provinces uh, is uh, the opposite of gratitude. Uh, everybody says, oh, we have so much to be thankful for and we need to count our blessings. And that is certainly true. And that is definitely where our focus should be. But I have noticed this last week in particular in all the hustle and bustle that is going on in preparation for this time of the year, uh, there seems to be, to me, a good bit of, dare I say the word, complaining, uh, whether at work, at home, or even in our chapter meetings, complaining may uh, cause more problems than we realize. A complaint is a negative reaction to what is perceived as a problem uh, when what is preferable probably is a positive response to whatever the challenge might be. So uh, I thought it might be interesting to look up some tips uh, that uh, could focus our attention on the positive and cut out some of the complaining. Uh, so with that in mind, I'd just like to take a few minutes and see if any of these you have noticed, as I seem to have noticed in the last week. I'm not sure exactly what's going on, but I think uh, we all uh, would help everybody if we tried to turn the direction of our comments toward the positive side of the equation as opposed to the negative side. So uh, here we go. Number one, things appear to be worse than they are. Uh, boy, isn't that the truth? Uh, when we complain, we only focus on what is wrong. In actuality, things may really not be that bad. In a situation, uh, very often, most of it is good uh, and a little of it is bad. Uh, and when we spend our time and energy focusing on that which is bad, we overlook all that is good. It's sort of a 90, 10 uh, percent type of equation. Uh, yeah. Okay, so this one thing didn't turn out exactly as we had hoped it would, but nine other things just worked out perfectly. Uh, so why are we wasting time and energy complaining about what didn't work out? Uh, number two, uh, bad habits form quickly. Boy, isn't that the truth? <laughs> It seems like my bad habits can pop up in a sec, nanosecond, and establishing a new habit takes much more dedication and work. Uh, uh, complaining is sort of like exercise. The more you do, the easier it gets, and the better you get at it. It can become something you actually enjoy. Enjoy complaining? I know some people that seem to enjoy complaining a great deal, and they can almost find fault in anything. It's like they have radar vision for a flaw. Number three, uh, what you think you see is what you get. Uh, 
Perception distorts reality in our minds. Uh, our complaining focuses on the negativity and colors everything around you in a bad light. Uh, then inside our head, we begin a dialogue where our mind tries to make this observation be what we see, whether it's real or not. You know, if if we think it is so, then it is so because we perceive it that way. Um, I was thinking about that the other day when I was getting out uh, or putting up rather some Chris Christmas decorations and um, one of my friends was here uh, helping me and she said, are you putting up that old thing? Well, she put that thought in my mind. Yeah, that's a treasured memory. But when she said that old thing, the tendency was to change my perception of it from a treasured memory that I honor every year to, oh, tawdry, shabby, unacceptable. So your mind plays tricks with you that way. Uh, so don't be fooled by misconception, a misperception, if you will. Uh, <clears throat> Try to see things in their best light always. Number four, uh, down may be the wrong direction when it comes to keeping a positive attitude. Down is, for most of us, a wonderful direction when we're thinking about the direction in which the scales may be going, uh, but not necessarily always is down the ideal direction. Uh, down and uh, think about this for a little bit, is the evil twin of one-upmanship. It becomes one-downmanship. One person complains, right? You've heard it. The next person has to top them with his or her own complaint, and so on. And it just begins to spiral downward and downward and downward. Soon, everyone is hopping on the bandwagon of counterproductive behavior. I'm sure you've seen that happen. You know, somebody is relating a situation they experienced where they were out shopping and somebody else jumps right in and says, well, I can top that. Have you ever? I have never. Can you believe? So, Remember that complaining is the evil twin of one-upmanship. You cannot play that game. You have the right for one-downmanship or one-upmanship to say, I do not wish to engage in that. I just want to live my life in the most positive way I possibly can. And it's not a competition. Uh, your bad experience, I don't need to talk and make my experience seem even more worse. Number five, despondency is not good for anyone. Not only does complaining make the situation seem worse than it really may be, it tends to destroy hope that the situation could possibly improve. You gotta have hope. Um, I think of that uh, uh, song, I Have High Hopes, uh, that was popular many, many years ago. High apple pie in the sky hopes. Sometimes it doesn't hurt to just keep hope alive and well and nourished in your heart uh, so that you can see a better day may soon be arriving for you. Don't allow despondency to be your guiding force, especially during this season when uh, with all of the complex emotions that we have to share uh, with each other, uh, you know, we have good times, we have bad times, we have good memories, we have bad memories. Try to focus and treasure uh, all of the really special, wonderful memories that carry you through these holiday times and celebrate the people that you may be missing that cannot be around the table with you at this time. Number six, 
If you focus on complaining, there is a great tendency for any creativity and innovation to just evaporate, to just disappear. When people lose hope, they cease to be motivated to achieve their goals. Um, I think that's what happens to a lot of people uh, when it comes to an eating situation. And uh, so you have a meal where you or a period of time during the day where you may snack a little bit more on favorite foods than you probably would have preferred to. Uh, but you don't give up. You just don't throw in the towel. You just don't quit. Uh, there, uh, There is always a possibility to turn it around. Uh, don't think that there is no point to uh, coming up with ideas and implementing them to help you celebrate in the way that will bring you the most joy during the holiday season. Uh, Connie complainers will shoot down almost anything new and say that the ideas don't work anyway. Well, how do you know if you don't try? I can remember uh, just a simple little thing as a child, um, which was learning to ride a bicycle. Uh, had I listened to my cousin Jeannie, I never would have ridden a bike because every time I went to get on the bike, my cousin Jeannie told me that I would never do it, that it was impossible, it was much too hard, that all riding a bike did was cause you to hurt yourself. I mean, she was absolutely anti-biking because she could not ride a bike and she didn't want anybody else to do it either. So I uh, don't let somebody like that take away your creativity and your innovation when it comes to accomplishing something you really feel that is important and would bring you happiness if you mastered. Um, just tell her enough already. You know, you didn't want to learn to ride a bike. I do. So I'm going to get back up, dust myself off and try one more time. Uh, number seven, negativity grows like a bad weed in your garden. The only way to gain status among complainers is to be the most negative person in the group. That is not the type of recognition you are worthy of. Um, how would you like to have a badge that you wore around the whole day that said, I am the worst complainer in the room? Uh, wouldn't that just attract people to you in droves? You know, yeah, here, Miss Negative, so glad you came to the party. Uh, try to pull those bad weeds up as soon as they appear in your own garden that you plant in your the fertile ground of your mind because that's where these things thrive thrive is in our thought processes uh number eight bad relationships start relationships that form from commiserating by complaining are somewhat toxic uh to start being part of of such a group, you have to escalate your own level of complaining. The result is everyone in the relationship becomes mired deeper in the complaint mindset. Everybody is trying to prove they belong to this negative group. What would you do that? Who wants to run around with a bunch of naysayers? I mean, you run around with people that look at possibilities and ha finding a way to find happiness and joy in every situation and want to pull every drop of that ha drop of that happiness out and share it with the world. Um, number nine, and I think we've all seen this happen, clicks form. Uh, complaining causes uh, closes people off in exclusive little groups uh, colored by 
I guess I'm going to say maybe bitterness, criticism, suspicion. Uh, don't trust anybody that's happy. They're obviously quite confused. Being positive, optimistic, and appreciative opens all of us up to other people. Who doesn't want to come to a person who is open and optimistic and positive more than someone who is closed off and critical and looking for the bad in a situation? Let's make it easier to connect with each other during this time of the year when we all have so much that we're doing uh, and subscribe to a positive attitude that guarantees maximum opportunity for the success in making this the best holiday season ever. Uh, number 10, pessimism. Pessimism. Oh, that's a hard word for me to say. I didn't realize that. Pessimism is counterproductive to a healthy lifestyle. And that's why we joined TOPS, right? Was to try to develop the most healthy lifestyle that we possibly could. Uh, <clears throat> there is a mistaken idea that complainers have an edge because they see problems sooner. The truth is... At, that the optimists lead better lives. Believing in themselves and the efforts of those around them is the confidence that results in success. That makes sense, doesn't it? If I believe in myself, I've got a better chance of succeeding and of sharing that success with others as I go through my daily life. Uh, studies in positive psychology uh, indicate that people who see the world in a positive light have these uh, advantages. Now just think about it for a minute. You know, if you are waffling between finding fault and everything and complaining about it or finding the good in everything and celebrating it, uh, if you are a celebrator of the positive aspects of life, there's a tendency that such people live longer. I'm in for that. There is a significant tendency that they are healthier overall in general health uh, uh, metrics that are easily measured. They also seem to have more friends and a better social life. They, they attract people to them that are also positive and forward thinking. Uh, they tend to be more successful in whatever uh, tasks they take on, be it at home, be it at work, be it socially, uh, they tend to find more success. Perhaps but it is because they approach everything they do with a can-do attitude. And quite simply, they enjoy life more. Well, who can ask for more than those things? Who does not want to enjoy their life more every single day? And especially celebrate that joy that we have in living our best lives at this time of the year with friends and family we may not get to see all the time. So uh, those are my reasons during the holiday season to try very hard to not complain because it just gets in the way of my joy. I hope that you will think about it and look at the world perhaps with more positive energy and find your joy and be sure to celebrate your time with family and friends each and every day. I'm going to get off here and go see what I can do to make the day a little bit better for me and maybe somebody I have yet to meet. Uh, talk to you later. Bye for now.